G'day, g'day, g'day. Here we are again, and uh, happy as can be. <laughs> uh, now, this is all about forms. So uh, I've been boning up on this. It's been years since I did any HTML programming. So you'll have to forgive me because I have forgotten everything I knew, and I didn't know a lot to start with. So I've had to go back to a great source, and that's called www htmlgoodies.com the best site on the web as far as I know regarding learning how to program in HTML now first of all don't get scared don't stop this movie now and say I'm not going to do any programming because it is insanely simple and once you understand it it gives you an enormous power over your website and particularly in understanding if there are problems uh, you can go and have a look at the HTML and you can find out where the problems are. That's where the root of everything is. It's all in the HTML. Now, um, iWeb 08 or iWeb 2 uh, uses um, an advanced form of HTML that involves uh, cascading style sheets. And you'll see um, a little, uh, what do you call it, a little file called uh, with a dot C, uh, CSS. Um, in pretty much everything that you do uh, regarding every page it'll produce one uh, but we're not going to go into that because we don't need to so I'm going to stick with the absolute bog standard basic um, HTML and uh, in doing so you'll find it really simple I will produce some more on the more complex ones once I have learnt how to do it so open up your um, iWeb as I have done there and what you need to do is to create a blank page standard blank page in whatever format you like okay whatever uh, style or theme you want doesn't matter what it is pick your theme and uh, whack up a blank page now I've got one I'm going to put on my site which is you know if you'd like to be emailed when I have a new tutorial please fill in this form because a lot of people will come and look at the tutorials but they don't know if I've put a new one up or if I've changed one and I want to be able to tell them so I'm going to create a list an email list I'm going to do that by the way <coughs> by um, using my address book and I'm hoping to find a way to automate it but uh, even if I don't I'm not going to get a lot of people so um, I'll just uh, you know cut and paste their names into a particular list and then I will simply email that list of people every time I make a change so nothing could be easier really but how the hell do you put a form in because that sounds difficult and it's not something that comes with um, iWeb 08 they didn't include that but they did include your ability to stick HTML code in and the way you do that is through an HTML snippets box there's a snippets box all you do is type into that the code now I'm going to show you how that works so first of all I'm going to show you this is some code I've written which opens up uh, um, a, uh, a form sets a form up and posts it. now there's a number of ways you can do it and if you're not housing your um, your site on dot Mac you will be able to use other forms of posting and, um, uh, um, with a particular script and they allow you to use what's a much uh, more common script that posts directly from the site but dot Mac as yet doesn't have that capability so you have to have something which um, directly does it now there are a number of different ways you'll find people will tell you you can join a, a page that um, uh, join up a site which allows you to um, send forms via its own method uh, but uh, look you know they they give you like one or two th or three forms to design and then you've got to pay for it I hadn't found anything that's free if you have found something that's free give me a yell but I think it's highly unlikely because there'd be a lot of traffic through it and it would cost them a lot of money so uh, uh, I'm doing this because I work it on the basis of let's do it so it doesn't cost anything now this is not quite as uh, specky as theirs but it's not bad the way it works is it actually opens up um, your uh, the your the person's own preferred email program with all the bits needed typed in and I'll show you how that works in a minute but what we're going to first of all do is to look at this this is the code I've written I'm going to copy that code now so I've, I've and I'm going to 
paste it in here. You know how to copy and paste, obviously. There's the, there it is, all pasted in. Okay. And it's in there. Now watch what happens when I apply it. Apply. Click outside it. And there's a form. Enter your name. And you can enter your name and uh, do all the things that you want to do. Why I've got favourite colour here is because I've stolen it from the site. Uh, but um, for a particular site, but you can change it to do anything else. Uh, and this is a bit off centre as well. And you, I'll show you how you can you can find out how to do all of those tricks. But basically, you um, you know, click send it to launch a mail form. Click send it, blah blah blah. You can add comments, enter your mail address, enter your name, and that'll come to me in an email then, uh, which goes directly to me via that person's email program. Uh, with all the necessary information that I want. I mean, I could just ask them, you know, please email me. But um, this is much more, this is much slicker, and it definitely, it means that it definitely goes to my email. They're not having to sort of, you know, cut and paste things in. It means that every email that arrives has the same uh, title to it, so I can make a, a nice, you know, make a little filter which filters it off into a folder that I can deal with later. Uh, and so forth. So that's a it's a much slicker and better way, and it looks good. People like forms, you know, they're used to filling them out. Okay. Now I'm uh, going to put this code up on my site at australianmac.com, and uh, you can uh, get it. It'll be next to this where the tutorial is embedded under iWeb08. Um, and uh, That'll be good. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at what this code is. So you can copy this code directly, and that's what I, I find the best way of actually mucking around with things is to is to have the code over here. So have the your um, your iWeb there. Click on your iWeb and have a look at it. And you can make changes. So you can say, you know, what am I going to do? Oh no, I want to have this. Um, this is a drop-down list, for instance. I'll show you how this works. Right, so. You can click on that, you get this nice drop down list, you see, and it works. How cool is that? Black. But you know, you're not going to want to know somebody's favourite colour. So all you do is you have that bit in it, and you you um, change those things here. See this? Uh, let's have a look. We'll go up close here. Um, you change them from blue, you know, red, yellow, whatever you want. You can have different things. And as uh, long as you don't play with the other bits, uh, it'll all work. Now, let me just take you through this code from the top, right? This is this enters into your uh, the, the page that's made. And so this is like a segment or what's known as a subroutine uh, uh, within the HTML code yourself. So the first thing you do is you're telling the computer that you're about to do something that's uh, different. It says here, this bit here, form method tells the computer that you're about to, you're gonna, this is a form. And if you look down the bottom of it, you'll see it says that's the, that's the symbol for the end of form. See that? The end of the form, you, you notice that the end of any statement in a piece of code is the same statement form with a backslash here. See this backslash that I've got over it? So that's the backslash. Um, and so it's exactly the same and it's always enclosed in these, what do you like to call them, alligator things or bloody, I don't know what they're called. Anyway, they're those things, you know, um, uh, greater than or less than symbols. Okay. Make me somewhere I can call the home. Cause lady